right, with massive thanks to Adam of Mersey Beers, YouTuber and Twitter, and also um, untapped. Uh, this is the Rum and Ginger Stout. It is 10.6%, aged something like six months, lots of muscovado gone into it. It does tell you on, on the internet, uh, not, that, not that I've got the internet down the shed, unfortunately. Oh, wrong way around. Yeah, so it says it, a rich, good evening. A rich and indulgent stout with bold notes of rum and ginger. This beer was brewed with free, with speciality malts, oats and muscovado sugar, then aged in rum barrels for six months with fresh stem ginger. That's actually quite interesting. Good evening. So, it makes me wonder if I should do the same thing with, if I do a, another stout, like, like the, um, Love Brewing Stout. Good evening. And uh, age, do a Love Brewing brew, 40 pints of it. Uh, good evening. And actually chuck some, um, stem ginger into it and let it, let it, let it age for six months. You know, it could be a thing. Good evening. Yeah, I mean... Vocations Banoffee Pie was my good bonjour, bonjour. Was my um number one. So uh, oh, good evening. It was okay, yeah, yeah. I was a bit nervous to be honest, but um once I once the prune prune juice wine filtered in it uh, it was all right. <laughs> good evening. So let's pour this uh, oh look at that decadent rich and uh, you can tell it's an imperial just by the it looks thick as you're pouring it look at that whoa 10.6 percent of goodness it does done it I'll just make sure i get every last little bit out it's not that i'm tight but you know when it's uh so black poor dark tan head good evening Oh, ginger, the good evening, sir. <laughs> that. Has anybody had this? Just out of, out of, you know, out of um, wanting to know. Just to see if you have and what, what your thoughts of it. What I can say now, this is, smells amazing. I think, um, good evening as well. I think. Cheers, thanks. I was um, giving it as a uh, in a surprise beer haul from Mr. Bullman Beer Reviews, who's on the channel at the moment, and Mer Adam from Mersey Beers um, sent it, you know, so you can't actually buy it at the moment. I dare say, with homebrew, you could make something um, quite close to it. It does, so I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it does it smells the ginger cuts through um the malty elements you know what you'd expect from an imperial stout i mean that ginger is absolutely beautiful and you know if you was to buy yourself like the 40 pound uh love brewing imperial russian stout kit and at the end do a boil of ginger stem chuck it in and let it age for six months oh Oh, flipping heck. Oh, that's mouth-wateringly good. I get the normal Imperial Stout um, attributes that you get from the Imperial Stout, you know, um, luxury, luxury, decadence. It has been a fantastic day in the garden, hasn't it? Good evening. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, I've been gardening, painting, sorting out the decking, sorting out my other review area and my dossing area, basically. And uh, sorting out the, the beer room as well, getting some glass up off the floor. Bless her. I do want to share your um, your wife's page anyway on my, I'm going to share it on my personal feed. It, I tell you what, 
if you love ginger beer, this is the box ticker of all box tickers uh, until the next beer, maybe. Um, there's a nice sweetness from the ginger. Um, I wouldn't say it's fiery. 24 lock hour lockdown. It's not fiery ginger. What hotels are near the cricket ground? Oh, um, there's many. There's, there's, oh, flip me. I'm trying to think of some big brand names. Near the London Road traffic island. So if you go on Google, tap in hotels near London Road traffic island. Uh, there's two hotels smack facing each other's there. Both cheapish hotels with decent breakfast because I've, I've had breakfast from all of them before. Um, oh, I've stopped at both of them. Oh, big brand names, you know. You, and both of them have got parking as well. So uh, one's parking's nearby. One, I think it's actually in, in where the hotel is. So yeah, pretty good hotels nearby. West Bridgeford, that's where the cricket ground is. There's lots of bed and breakfast places around there. So, you know, you should be able to find something quite easy, to be honest. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because obviously we still don't really know 100%. I've been out today shopping and driving on the roads in Nottingham. And it's like everything's back to normal. The shops were rammed. The, the, the roads are rammed even on a Sunday, which is ridiculous. Oh, log burner, eh? I need to get myself a new log burner. We did have one, but it burnt some of my decking. So it, it got binned and it fell apart. Oh, good evening. No, but I have actually got a Gower Brewery beer. Um, for, for tomorrow, because St David's Day tomorrow, if memory serves me correctly. Um, yeah, I've got that Gower Power. The good Mr Goathead brought me up from Wales. I mean, I posted a photo on the... Um, on the YouTube page um, of my middle, now my bottom decking area, like what I call my review area outside. And that was last year, done in March last year when the lockdown was on, that first lockdown. And uh, there's no concrete underneath. It's actually, um, I put bricks down and put the thing, uh, put, put it all on bricks. No, I don't know Jam Calf, you know. Don't go into town that much. I know Nottingham's only two miles away from my house. I don't go in that much, to be fair, and certainly not in the last year, um, obviously, because of lockdowns and whatnot. Black sheep, big welter. Yeah, it is nice. It is nice. Cheers. It will be much better going when stuff starts to grow. It's better. As Mr. Goathead saw the other day, he pity he came on the wrong day. If he walked down now, he'd see pristine. My decking's pristine. The bottom decking area's pristine. Good evening. Thanks for, yeah, yeah, it, it did go well. I was a bit worried about the chat. I'm gonna, thinking about doing that, you know, getting getting a sign outside and good evening again. Yeah, getting a sign outside the uh, beer room. I've got quite a few seats, you know, so I've got, on the deck in itself, I've got two three-piece suites, two chairs, five five chairs as well. I've got the other decking area with two lounges and a, a seating area that holds five. I've got another seat that holds two. And uh, at work, there's five brewery um, old bar stools that the, the boss didn't want. I've just got to wipe them clean. I may give them a lick of varnish. And uh, I'm bringing them home and they're going to be they're going to sit in here. So to turn it into that full-on bar experience, as it were, if you can call it that. 
Yeah, I've got some of the tap room cans. Yeah, apparently some are hit and miss. There's one that's got really bad um, reviews about it. I couldn't tell you which, but... I've got a Kirkstall Brewery one. Uh, virtuous automatic se aromatic session. This is... I'll actually put the beer up. This is from Vocation Brewery. Gifted to me by Adam of Mersey Beers. And it's an imperial, barrel-aged imperial stout. But it's woman ginger stout. So, and I tell you now, the ginger element is absolutely unbelievable. I don't know if I really get the rum element. There is a sweetness. And then you get the ginger as well. So whether the sweetness is actually the rum element to it. Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> That'd be a laugh, wouldn't it, on the street? Hey, it's interesting. It's really interesting. I want to get down to the bottom of the beer and then give a good. Again, give the score. Already, I love Imperial Stouts. I do. I love the strength. I love all the flavours that you get. Uh, that would be a laugh, wouldn't it? Jesus Christ. I might have some pissy arse neighbours. <laughs> hey, I'll have to brew more beer. And <laughs> I may well brew, buy myself another, another Imperial Russian Stout Kit and actually do the Imperial Russian Stout Kit. And at the end of fermentation, I'm going to barrel it, but I'm going to add uh, a brew of um, root stem, ginger, to the brew. Bloody hell. The beers that make you smile, that truly make you smile, they're the beers that are special. They just tick every single box going. Oh. Now I'm starting to get the fire. You know, it takes a bit of time for it to wash your palate. I mean, let's be fair. Um, <laughs> it does... Straight away, you can tell this is going to be something special. And, you know, Vocation, what they're doing is there's some special beers they're bringing out. You know, if you can get your hands on them, because they sell out that quick, it seems. I mean, the other day, all their beers sold. Begs the question for me is if you've got beers that you know are going to sell and sell by the bucket load, me being looking at the business aspect, why not do twice or three times the amount? You'd need some piss bucket, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, Imperial Stouts, you're looking at anything from 8% upwards, I think. Well, it might even be less than 8%, right? It might be, you know, classified as an Imperial. But yeah, um, amazing. Bless you. And again, I'm... It's nearly half time already, 13 minutes in. I'm not even halfway down the glass yet. And I can feel the ABV, you really can. That 10.6 is really quite kicking in. Good evening. Ah, Mr. Scott. <laughs> you know, you know, for you thanking me, I have to thank you back because getting me on there, it was nervous for me, but second beer today. Um for me, you know, it was something I needed to do, uh, you know, for, for the anxiety side of things. I need to do these things, keep pushing myself that little bit, moving forward all the time. But yeah, you've done so well. And the amount raised was unbelievable. No, but I got in the bed this morning, so I'd had the prune juice wine. And uh, I got into bed and for some reason I put my phone on. And it woke up and uh, I don't think she was happy about that, to be fair. She told me to turn the phone off. <laughs> so you can't win them all, can you? You know, she took some tablets to get to sleep as well, because she's been struggling a bit with sleeping. So I wasn't totally in the bad books, but um, yeah, it was, it was more of a yellow than a red card. So. Um, maybe... I probably would host a live stream when I'm more confident and when I've got 
I'm going to probably treat myself to... Um, is it not that sharp tonight? No different to usual, really. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, um, I forgot where I was going there. No, it's gone. No, all gone. Back to the bit. Wow. Yeah. No reflection off the forehead. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> there's probably, there's not a lot of glasses here now. So the, the glass is probably... The reflection's not bouncing off lots of glasses. Yeah, it doesn't, that doesn't seem to be any different. Resolution's probably a little bit less than what I would have expected it to be. But drinking this don't help me, because obviously it's strong, so. Um, I mean, lighting's such a, such a pain, isn't it? Yeah. Getting that right lighting. And I've just looked at the lights now. I can't even see the screen now because it's just blinded me. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> so, yeah, halfway down. Got to say, loving the fire. You know, if you're going to have ginger in a beer, you've got to have fire with it. Um, the best non-imperial ginger beer I've ever tasted, commercial, was um cheers was um crabbies the crabbies black which came out oh it discontinued about four or five years ago now it's been a while and no about three years ago i think and crabbies black was amazing six percent oak aged mature beer of course in my nose there can you make panels <clears throat> But, you know, for decadence, wow, luxurious decadence. I mean, I know a lot of people might think, I'm not paying such an amount for a beer. But, you know, when it tastes this good, you know, it's worth paying money for beer. I mean, I didn't actually pay for this one, to be fair. But, um, you know, when it's this good, wow, vocation. You know, I don't know if it's a group you have to be on. I think they've got a mailing list or something. And that they went to the mailing list first. So it might be that I have to get on their mailing list because when they bring out stuff like this. I mean, it's, it's all about the ginger for me. No, I'm not trying Cobby's malt whiskey, no. No, it actually helped. Yeah, I was suffering all day yesterday with a bit of a, not that you really need to know this, but not a great stomach. And... Uh, Ah, yeah, and, and uh, the prune juice helped out. Yeah, I feel much better today. About a stone lighter, but uh, yeah, much better. I do apologise for any of the ladies in the background or families. Yes, it's not what you want to hear. Not really. <laughs> Lovely fire. Even on the lips, there's a there's the strength of the, al the alcohol, but the fire... The sweetness, I think that sweetness is from the rum. Ginger rules the roast, rules the roost though. Um, it certainly, you know, makes it a really awesome beer. Wow. And thank you very much to Adam from Mersey Beers. That was such a kind thing to do, you know. And for such a beer like this, um, it ticks all the raggy boxes. And, you know, me wanting to do an imperial stout. <laughs> um, me wanting to do an imperial stout. This just makes it that I might just take a leaf off their books and uh, brew an imperial stout, homebrew, and then do what they've done where they've added the root ginger and aged it. Double sherbet and snowball. Tell you what, some of the um, some of the the varieties. I don't know, I don't know yet. It's good. It is good. We're we're in the same territory as the Banoffee pie. Let's put it that way. Cheers. 
I know sometimes you have that many social media. It is hard. And I don't know what it is. On my phone, I struggle with Twitter. I think I didn't set up the preferences properly. And I can't do anything with Twitter on my phone. But I'm on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, obviously, Facebook. I mean, someone says to me to go on untapped, but there's a limit on what you can go on. Unless there was an automated way of doing it where you click something, it goes to all devices as one. That'd be interesting. Where there's a way, there's a will. There's always a way of doing these things. <clears throat> so even on those, you do you can smell the ginger, you can smell the sweetness. I presume the sweetness. Oh God, today's beers are just unbelievable, aren't they? You have to look at ciders as well. Brothers have just they're all they're all looking at the, what's happening with the gin sector, where gin has gone from being a boring London gin, which was rancid to so many flavours and it's like beer cider you know they've jumped on that bandwagon i mean beers and real ale by a long way you know uh with some of the flavours unbelievable flavours good evening oh how do <laughs> Good evening, Ray, Kieran and Sophia. Yeah, I, I just hope we have a great summer. The last thing we want now is to have a crap, wet summer. Um, oh, no, 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 just the two. No, I'm going to be steaming after the second one. Yeah, that's a 12.7 percenter. But this fellow here is a 10.6 percenter. I don't like man's brown ale. It's not. It's not my cup of tea. It isn't. Not even Newcastle Brown's that nice these days. Uh, it feels a watered down version of what was. Good evening. What was a good beer? Oh, the intensity of the ginger. They've got it right. It's not too fiery. So, as with ginger. I can't stand it when they lower the ABVs. Put the bloody price up. I'd rather pay for a decent beer than pay for something that wasn't right. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of the Glen Piddick left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might do a review of that at some stage. Or do a or do a whiskey night. Oh, man's beer. There's a reason why it's a quid. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I think of all those cheap beers, Marston's EPA is probably the best of that cheap they're all them really cheap beers. It'd have, be have to be a slow whiskey night, though. You wouldn't want to get too steaming on whiskey, would you? Whiskey and Coke, or whiskey on the rocks. Um, a night on the prune wine. Oh dear, you'd know it afterwards. <laughs> oh, so as beers go, wow. Lovely. Good evening. You know. I didn't think uh, the Imperial Banoffee Stout was going to be touched. I had the Imperial Kirsch from these good fellas location. That to me, a little bit more tarty, not quite as nice. Still a very, very good beer, but not quite as nice as the Banoffee. But this one, so it, it has aroma, which, you know, it's always nice to have something that smells nice when you're drinking. Uh, you don't want to be drinking something that smells horrible. It's got the ginger aroma. It's got the sweetness, the rum side of things, the sweetness of the rum. Um, both of those flavours certainly. Um, good evening. Yeah, I mean, both the flavours mask the rest of the imperial, the usual imperial start flavours. The fireness, the fire of the 
the the ginger beer just is absolutely awesome you know it's just right um it's one of them beers not tonight no i can't <laughs> couldn't do that as well tonight oh, i've got work tomorrow i might do it in the week though yeah, I'll pick a night in the week and uh, do like an own brew night. Obviously, St. David's Day tomorrow, free Welsh beers tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, I might have a home brew night in the week. And uh, two or three home brews in one session. That'd be good. Trip The triple home brew header. Yeah. And then we can also talk about home brews at the same time. I think his home brew is about 8%. Somewhere along them lines. Fresh ginger, you know, if you're going to brew something like this, like a stout, even if you brew a, a lower end stout, adding the fresh ginger. Woman raisin chocolate bars. I love woman raisin. Good evening. Thank you. I haven't got no daffodils. I'll have to have a look at work, see if I can get one. There's bound to be one somewhere. That's, it, it's a bit early, really, for daffodils to be out, to be fair. Yeah, I could put a snowdrop in the in the in the glass. There's plenty of them. And crocuses, lots of crocus out at the moment. Bluebells are just emerging. And daffodils are as well. Not not too far. There may be an early daffodil, so I'll have a look. Put one in the glass. We'll stick one here in a little glass. Just about here. I might I've got a build. I think it depends what part of the country, you know. Uh if it's warmed up enough in your part of the country so i may get a piece of wood and stick a, another slight little shelf on here just for just for stuff to sit on <clears throat> little tweaks all the time so yeah you're south though aren't you as south as you can get so i knew when this beer and the following beer turned up i knew that these were going to be amazing um well they sounded amazing let's put it that way obviously you can never really know oh unbelievably awesome uh, now i'm a fan of ginger beers so that is uh you know if you don't like ginger then it isn't going to tick the boxes like it ticks my boxes and we must always remember that with any beers we drink you know it's all down to preference I can say to you that if I'm a ginger beer fan and this just wipes the floor of every single ginger beer out there, um, even Wanga and their fiery ginger beer, that is an amazing ginger beer, you know, but that's only 4% or around about there, I think. Um, but this also has got the added factor of there's the rum element. Thank you. I didn't see the comments, you know. I need to have a have a look later and, and read the last half hour um, just to see what was said. Because obviously all I can see is on my phone and see the, the stream yard bit. I can't actually see the comments. I'm not set up for that yet, which is why I wouldn't do a stream myself yet because I, you know, I ain't got the capability just yet. You certainly get the rum in this. I do like a rum as well, definitely. I think vocation have got to be one of the best in the country at the moment, aren't they? I thought Northern Monk were probably the best, but I think vocation are probably just edging it uh, on a nation nationwide scale. I mean, I've got some breweries near me. Bang the Elephant for one, they're coming out with some lovely stuff. Old Crafty N, yeah, lovely beer. So. <laughs> so on the nose just for those watching who want to actually hear, hear, hear a, part, a bit of a review on the nose definitely ginger definitely rum if you're if you're coming by um Kellam on tuesday i might take a bit of own brew to work have it in the boot 
And then if someone wants to swing by, a bit of own brew, because I've got plenty of own brew. Maybe even a, a bottle of the Old Imperial Russian. Oh. And I think it was good of Scott last night to, you know, none of us want to be in any sort of having issues with anybody else. And what he said last night with regards to Mr. Kent uh, was a good thing. And, and Kent also did the same a, a few days ago on his live. So, you know, that was nice, you know. None of us want any issues. I mean, as a person, I'm always dropping myself in the shit. You know, these things happen. And, uh, you know, for anybody watching, I'm not a malicious person. If, if I was to say something out of tone, please don't take offence. It's just have a slip of the tongue or, you know, you know, it's just sometimes you say stuff and you think to yourself afterwards, I really shouldn't have said that. And, uh, you know, shit happens in this world, unfortunately. And uh, the person who's there all the time talking is that person. Yeah, is that person. Um, the person you see all the time is a decent person, is the person you should focus on. Everybody drops the bollock when it comes to talking and saying the wrong thing, especially when you've had a beer. I mean, who doesn't say something and then regret it afterwards? And there's boundaries that you sometimes go over that boundary. Yeah, let's get to that. So, straight away, amazing woman ginger aroma, amazing woman ginger taste, uh, the imperial aspect as well, the strength, 10.6%, absolutely awesome. Bloody hell. If I could make a beer, this would be the one. Oh, it really is. I can't even remember what I gave um, the Imperial Banoffee, but I would go with this about a 4.75 out of 5. Wow. I knew it was going to be good. Nah, never, never that high. And... Uh, Wow. Yeah, I don't mind people taking the piss. That is a stunning beer, Adam. Um, uh, I apologise for you being late. Uh, you know, I'm just back killed the review. But I've got to say, as beers go, that was absolutely... <laughs> that was awesome. That was an absolutely amazing beer. Wow. My new number one beer. But for how long? Unbelievably raggy, raggy Avenue. Yeah. And uh, I read how they did it. So they brewed an imperial stout and they added um, stem ginger to it at the end. So and I'm even burping ginger. Beautiful. It's got a lovely taste in the back end. I'll put some in the boot, and if you do swing by, I'll sort you out. Oh, that was amazing. You know, there's, it's took a long time for, I mean, Imperial Banoffee is 4.75. I have to remember that sometimes, make sure I write it down or some, put it somewhere. Um, that was amazing. The warmth from it, my belly's warm. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd had the stem ginger at the when I uh, I'd had the stem ginger at the at the barrel barreling thing. I know. Wow. So, and I do thank you from the bottom of my heart. That was an absolutely amazing beer. I know, I can't believe how many are watching. And, uh, yeah. So. That was amazing. And there's another one coming up. And I, I knew, I knew when it came and I opened it up and I looked and I thought, vocation are very good. You know, they don't mess about. Especially after the Imperial Banoffee and the Imperial Kirsch. I knew that it was going to be a box ticker. That's why I wanted to review both the box tickers tonight yeah yeah i do agree with that 
yeah don't let let the let the alcohol do its brewing and then add the flavor yeah i've made, messed up on that before when i added um strawberry syrup to a brew and I added it early instead of late stratford pills now nah well i might be i might be for an hour then i'll perk up again so i'm going to end this review and then come back with the next review and this one's from Bullman's Beer Reviews. Right. Thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing and liking. And uh, back in about two minutes. Or as quick as it takes me to turn it round. See you in a minute. Cheers.